The event recognizes the sacrifices that soldiers and sailors made during World War II, all taking place on the USS Silversides. Plumes of smoke parted the sky as a flyover of classic military planes opened the ceremony. Each year, dozens of people gather to honor the 52 submarines and more than 3,500 people lost during World War II. And for the past five years, Paul Ken Rash has traveled from Indiana to attend the event with his family, dressed in his best attire. Yeah. You may wonder about this hat. Yeah. That is the, uh, was really the official uh, dress hat for the uh, submarine events of World War II. An honorable group that Rash can proudly say he is a part of. Yeah, in 1942, I qualified on submarines and with the Pearl went aboard the uh, plunger, the old 179 plunger. And uh, I made five war patrols on her. Rash is now 91 and a half years old, and it's been almost 70 years since he's been aboard a submarine. But the lost boat ceremony always takes him right back to his days with his brothers overseas. So it's just like coming back home. And all the memories just flood the... A bell sounded for each lost submarine. Remembering our fallen heroes. December 10th, 1941, four men lost. But never too distant from our thoughts. It's the time that we can honor sir, our uh, uh, shipmates that didn't make it back. So it means quite a lot.